You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. It's time for the Flying Bald Eagle. This was something I picked up at a thrift store for a dollar. Item number 591, worldwide patent pending, number 6518. Not that that matters, but it's on the box, battery operated, flaps its wings, flies around and around, suspended continuous flying action, calming and soothing movement. Probably not for a cat. If a cat sees this flying around, it probably would not enjoy it. So there's a picture of what's going on. And I've showed these before. I had a pigeon, maybe, and a pig, I think. I'd have to check. All right, fasten the hanger to the ceiling with the screws provided. Allow six feet from any object. Tie the line to the tether loop on the eagle. Make sure that eagle flies higher than head height to avoid injury. There's an on-off switch located under left wing. Captive safety screw will not leave battery cover. Oh, it's captive. Flaps its wings. Okay, so it is. Suspended continue. Okay, so that's a repeat. It says everything I said requires two AA batteries. Let's get it out of the package. Now, I found this in the condition it is in. I originally thought, potentially, that it's never been flying. But we will see. I don't know. It looked like it was brand new in the package, but then it also looks like somebody... Set it up, but the screws are still here. There are three of them. I actually have another one of these little plastic things somewhere from the previous one. So that goes like that. And that holds up the eagle. Okay, so the battery compartment is connected with his, his talons. Interesting. Very, very interesting. There's that little on-off switch. Unfortunately, there were no batteries in there. Let's check out this suspended... Oh, I see. It's locked in. There are batteries. And we have corrosion. We have corrosion. Okay. Now, this is how I found it. It's actually, other than that, not too bad. Let me grab a paper towel. Get this out of here. Some batteries. And it's kind of funny seeing his little feet there. both go the same way it is off now I'm guessing I think it I don't know I think it's gonna oh yeah you push these out okay so let's just see well let's get this on I'm kind of excited but kind of nervous maybe it's not gonna work I don't know maybe they put it back in the box they broke it who knows here we go let us put the flapper on stuck all right let's let's investigate you know what I like to do first what do y'all think I'm gonna do first I'm gonna work on these batteries maybe there's just a bad connection in there okay let me try a couple different batteries could also be it looks like this particular one is a little dirty mm. oh here they are pretty sure these were the, this was the good battery section but just so that way you could all see a different battery going in okay now let's see fly Take them apart. Get a Q tip and clean that. Oh, 
I'll use a little silicone spray, which I had nearby from a previous video. Never put it away. Thank you. Kind of sad for me. My sad tone has just kicked in. So something is not triggering the motor. There are cases where not having the battery lit on could make a difference, but I'll put it back on just to be safe. Well, let's take our Eagle apart. I noticed there's three screws. I'm glad I'm recording this so that I can remember how to put this back together. There was a screw in here too. Under his beak. in the back. Now I'm guessing that back is going to fall out. So let's just see. Okay. Okay. This is the best way. Okay. I have initial inspection. Everything looks good in there. How does it come apart? How do the wings detach? Okay, here's what we do. Now that we're in this position, we put the batteries back in. I'm thinking that maybe it's just the motor. Oh boy. Okay, that sounds to me like a bad year now. Let's see. What I think I should do, well, let me come back. I'm gonna study this a little bit more, see how this comes apart, and then I will figure out that broken gear. But now we have sound. All right, digging deeper now and realizing that this connection here is extremely difficult to get apart. It's pressure fitted in there. I was able to take off this little plastic disc that was back here, and I should be able to now pull this out so I can at least get that out of the way. Okay. I cannot figure out how to get the wings out of the way. I'm just trying to see where this motor gear is causing the issue. Yep, it's the inner gear. I could see it right now. That's what's causing the problem. Let's see if it moves. It's in place now. So now I bet you we would get some kind of movement. It's just everything's out of position now. Let's see. It'll be short-lived if the gear doesn't want to stay in place. See? Okay, what's happening is the gear here, that's spinning. It's this gear right here that is broken off the... Okay, that's going to be a challenge. I don't know if that could be fixed easily. Let's just pull this out. That's the problem, is that gear. Now that that's out, I bet you it might flap now, but it's totally out of position. Oh no. Nope. 
It's just spinning around the gear. This happens a lot. The last, I think it was a mouse game I had. Similar situation. I'm not sure, like, if I pull this old motor out. Let's get this wire out of here. This wire out of here. This is the problem. See, it spins on the gear. Okay, let me get my gears. So what's happening is this gear is broken. Let's just see if we can see where it's broken. It's got to be cracked in there somewhere. All right, hold on a second. Let's turn you off. We need a gear like this. I don't know if I have this gear. Okay, we have gears, we have gears, we have gears. Not that gear. It looks like one of these gears. It's very close. Very close. Come here, Mr. Eagle. You will fly again. You must fly again. Ooh, there we go. Okay, I have nothing to pressure this on with. That's gonna poke me in the finger. Okay, more tools. Okay, I'm thinking these here will be big enough for me to do this. Just enough. Okay. Came off the back. How about channel locks? These are called channel locks. Okay, that gear is on now. All right. It's in position. I'm in deep thought now, trying to figure this out. All right, let me clear it out. Get all this out of here. Bad gear, which I will dispose of. I don't want to put it back into my, oh, well look, I got other bad gears here. That's the bad gear section, right down there. further this way. I'm so nervous now. I'm nervous that I wanted to get it to work. You must fly again, Mr. Eagle. Okay, that wire's in. Let's make sure it's above and away from all of that. Okay, it feels good. I gotta do this without everything in the way, so let's just turn them on. Don't fly out of my hands. Let's get you spinning. It could just be the. Oh boy. I don't think that gear is going to work either. That sounded horrific. It actually sounded like a screaming eagle. Okay, I see. I think that 
gear actually needs to be pushed in. other gears are messed up we got one gear fixed I'm not sure I'll be able to fix the others let me get this on I like how he just pokes his head through there let's get this over this you know maybe it just needed to be together you don't know We tried. Oh, you are doing so well, buddy. Okay, so there was another broken gear in there. Hmm. This one is going to be a problem. This gear I don't think I have. Very specialized looking gear. Let's look. I don't think I'm going to be able to fix this guy. Sadly. I mean, it appears that kind of look like it, like this one, but there's just too many things that could be different about it. Yeah, this is all pressure fitted in. What's holding this pin, I don't know. And this is not screwed together, so you know it's hard to take it take it apart now. It's gonna destroy everything. Yeah, it's melted in place. I have to melt the piece, the pins. This pin didn't get melted for whatever reason. Maybe there's enough room to slip a gear in there. Hmm. So intriguing. Let's see if I can at least get this end open. I'll need to extract this pin. All right. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I've been digging further. This is the gear that went bad. Now, this particular gear center is not... The right diameter. So this gear went here. That spins that. Okay, then the other one looks like it also spins by that. And it sits on this pin. So I've got to drill out this center hole. All right. Okay, so I got that gear in. Gear in. I kind of forgot I wasn't, uh, well, I just lost track of what I was doing. I was too intense on trying to resolve it. I got it to this point. Watch this. Oh, 
There's not enough flapping. Well, let me put it back together now that I've gotten that far. We'll see. I see what's going on. I just don't have all the right stuff. He doesn't sound too... Well, actually, those other ones did sound pretty pretty aggressive like this one. If I can at least get him to somewhat flap again, like I just did, I, I think at this point I'd be happy. Okay, let's get these out of the way. Oh, that one did not go in. I think I've never used these tweezers. Okay. This must have, I forgot if these were kind of in this particular area here and not near the flapper part. I know. I paid a dollar for it, right? I think I've spent a good amount of time trying to get it to this point. Let's just see if... Oh, I got that in the wrong spot. I can hold it and it flaps. We got somewhere. Whoa. There we go, buddy. He wants to fly. Ooh. At that angle it works better. I don't know why. Well. We accomplished something. You know, what do you want? Now that gearbox, I didn't necessarily reseal back together. I want to at least see if I can get to this point. A flapping bird. I think I could forego the middle screw till I get this one in. Leave the middle one out. Hmm. You don't even want to do that. I want to regroup my thoughts. Same size. I've got stuff everywhere. Where's your feet? Anywhere. After I screw it all back together. Is it frustrating? Very. Will it ever fly again? I'm not feeling the flying part. I don't necessarily have everything I need here. And then again, it's not something that I do that often. Not, I'm not often fixing eagles.
Oh, I see why. This bottom pin came out of the... Aha. This pin came out. This one. Yep, I think I'm going to have to somehow put this back together. I mean, I know I have to put the whole thing back together. I think this bottom, if this pin comes out, because I had to cut away the plastic to get the pieces out so that I could actually... Trying to remelt it back together. Okay, now whatever's going on here, one battery is missing and it's still running. I have never seen that before in any toy. Alright, I uh, didn't record maybe 10 or 15 minutes to get to this point. I have not tried it. I uh, melted the pieces, which I had to do off camera anyway, just not what I normally do on camera, and then put them back together, push that gear in as best as I could. Hopefully we get something. I just want to say, well, you know, we have flight. And, you know, I don't think it's worth much more time than I have a dollar invested in that plus tax. So I'm going to now turn him on and we'll see if he does anything. I'm hoping he does something. He's back together, so here we go. Oh, what happened? Well, well, well. Let's see if we can get him to do something. Okay, wait a minute. Let me turn him off. Let me set this up a little differently. I think maybe we have something. It's staying together. It's working. Oh, boy. Let's, uh, I'll be right back. I'm just caught off guard. I have to say it was slightly disappointing as I was going through the process, finding out more and more things were not working right. Then I had a second broken gear and I didn't think it was actually going to work. So happy about that. Let's get him going here. There he goes. He flies. Camera doesn't stay in focus, but he's working. Ooh, hit the backdrop. There he goes. That's pretty exciting. Let me see if I can make this so the camera stays in focus. All right, so my poor bird is hanging uh, and flying great. It's just the camera will not stay in focus. So I'm just gonna let it go. We're just gonna have to, I'm gonna have to live with that part of it. But he seems to balance himself out as he flies. So here we go. I wish there was a way to solve that problem with the camera. Even when I back out, it's just the camera can't keep up with it. He's flying too fast. Well, I think at this point, we know he works. The camera doesn't. 
You know what? Let me try my other camera. All right, different camera. Let's see if it's any better. It's a little better. Let me zoom back a little. You're gonna see a little bit more of my studio area there. Oh, that's better. I would say this camera is recording the bird better. Well, before he dies on me or that gear breaks again, I want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for getting through that video. I don't consider myself an expert in any way on repairing, but I get through it. And thanks for watching. I'm going to let him fly a little bit. Later! Okay, I wanted to try one thing, and I uh, I know I ended it earlier, and I let it fly around. Not staying in focus, but I want to get some better close-ups, which I did not do. So let me get that in here. Let me turn it on. So you could just watch it flap like that. Here, listen. It actually puts out a good amount of air. Now I could just do this one. Here, turn this way. Let me fly him by again. I guess I'm anticipating any time my gears are going to give out, but it's actually holding up much better than I had expected. All right, I feel better now. I think you got a better look at it just flapping and flying. And again, thanks for watching and supporting me at Lucky Penny Shop. It's really appreciated. I wish I would have just videotaped more of the repair. I got most of it. But, you know, it worked out. And thanks again for watching, everybody. Later. My fly away.
If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.